everyone this is lakshya panicha from vos level 7 batch today i will be presenting a solution to rmo 2023 problem 4 in the problem we are given that there are two circles omega 1 and omega 2 we have there's a line l which passes through both of them intersecting at points ab and cd we have the se- we have the perpendicular bisector pq of segment ab and perpendicular bisectors rs of cd we are, we have to show that the midpoint of pr the midpoint of o1 o2 and the midpoint of qs are collinear i let the midpoints of pr o1 o2 and rs be g e and f respectively it can easily be observed that pq is parallel to rs this is because the green angles are 90 degrees and equal and we also have that pg is equal to gr and qf is equal to fs so by equal intercept theorem we can say that pq is parallel to gf which is parallel to rs i let h be the midpoint of pq and i be the midpoint of rs we do this because the intersection of line ih with line gf will divide the line ih into two equal halves because pq is parallel to rs which is parallel to gf so the midpoint should be collinear but we are not complete yet it is it is it's still to be proven that he is equal to ie and h e and i are collinear because an e here is the midpoint of o1 o2 we can look at the following observation we can see that b is the ortho center of triangle pqc this is because a is the reflection of b over tri of over the length pq which is the perpendicular bisector and a lies on the circumcircle of triangle pqc so b should be the ortho center of triangle pqc now we we'll look at the following proposition proposition states that the distance of a side of a triangle from the circum center is equal to half the distance of the opposite vertex from the ortho center so that basically says that half the half ch is equal to omc now we have constructed a diagram this diagram over here such that h is the ortho center g is the centroid and o is the circum center by the all line we can say that h the distance between h g and the distance between g o is in the ratio 2 is to 1 and now looking at the following triangles c h g and m c o g we can see that there there's a homothety with center g of ratio 2 so that gives us that half c h is equal to 2 is equal to o m c this gives us that b c which is the length this one and is equal to 2 o1 h and similarly bc is equal to 2 o2 i this gives us that o1 h is equal to o2 i by looking at the following diagram here we are we have this angle right over here 90 degree and this over here angle 90 degrees so these two o1 h and o2 i should be parallel so we get angle o1 h e and angle o2 i e to be equal and we just showed that o1 h and o2 i are equal and to, uh, according to our prior assumption we can we also have h e is equal to i e so we get that triangle o1 h e and the triangle o2 i e are congruent we also had to prove that points h e and i are collinear but this is done right here because of the equal intercept theorem and we just proved the congruent triangles and we are done